Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Saving Your Disaster campaign together with Tabcat. It's time to yeah, continue that uh, saving really by getting off of the Doom Clock. But it's not only Doom Clock, I just realized we have a second mission here. The neutralize the target mission for a few supplies and intel. And we're on that doom clock as well. I don't know how much time has passed, so I don't want to jinx anything. But uh, going into the facility before doing the mission is a bold move. Uh, we got a really well diversified squad. I saw there is an alien ruler uh, in that mission. Which I would guess is the Viper King, but we have the Frost Grenade, that's the direct counter against rulers. So that's good. Uh, we also hopefully have the Shadow Keeper here. Oh no, he did not uh, put it on. Well, I will play with whatever Tapcat has uh, put in, that's the rules of the game, but... Uh, that is 10 aim missing on our Sniper. And we also only have uh, the stock weapon. Well, I think he wanted to make it a challenge and uh, that is good. So let's go and launch the mission. Uh, I clicked on launch the mission, guys. Thank you. Sky Ranger menace ready to deploy. Okay, look at that. We landed. Then move to a safe distance for detonation. If we can take out that facility, we might just buy ourselves some time. Menace well, we could do it the easy way, right? Uh, using our Reaper to just sneak in, bypass everything. But where would be the fun in that? Exactly. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Fighting through. All of the enemies. Uh, we got a sniper. I would like to pick this here. Shadow is the one scouting for us. <coughs> we got high ground. That in itself is helpful. Nah, we don't have high ground. This is just a river. There is no one in there. <coughs> Spreading out a little bit. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving out. Roger. Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Covering now. Okay, I would guess if I would have to take a guess, I think the enemies are to the north. <coughs> few more specters I see well did we have blue screen rounds I should have checked beforehand trace rounds here advanced stock there and blue screen rounds on the sniper okay cool well that's all I needed to know Our heavies are moving up. Understood. Moving out. Moving to designated position. Eyes on the covered. Overwatch. And I am spotting high ground in the form of an abandoned house over there. I'll take the I'll take advantage of it. And we'll aggressively push in. There is no time limit on this here, but uh, there is a patience limit on the AI. They at some point will start looking for us and I am trying to get in as 
close as possible so that we can actually get on top of the house. Will do. Very good. Next step, we're freeing up uh, the high ground. <coughs> Putting ourselves into a better position. Now got a nice little fire line going for us. Jester in the background. And Apex is going to be the Apex Predator. Well, guess what? Now we are almost ready. Could be a one shot onto uh, the Spectre. And I would say, why not? Let's just start that. 90% is good. So, how many grenades do we have? Got a mimic beacon. We only got two grenades, so I do not want to overdo it. We'll need the grenades for the little bit harder fights later. No, I'll save uh, lightning hands because that will be required for the chosen. Tell you what, we're just going to actually use demolition. Should have done that at the beginning. It's not a bad skill, it is one of these skills that you tend to forget uh, that you have because it's not immediately uh, it's not immediately on the forefront of your head. Not good. Nope, that was not good. good I'll keep an eye on it. we'll just wait and I not very surprisingly good we'll do something that is the right thing to do in this case it's an overwatch trap everybody reloads I'll just get into position Reload Overwatch and reload Overwatch. Overwatch. says I am to obey. Good. Won't let the good loot go, uh, go to wa uh, waste. So I have what that auto loader should be with uh, with us and. It will rush straight into our direction, meaning we should be fine here. That's a solid hit. Mind you, overwatch shots, so let's talk about ruler mechanics because I'm sure some of you uh, might not be fully familiar with them. The rulers will react to any uh, action that you take, any normal blue action that is movement uh, and a couple of other blue actions. <clears throat> the rulers, however, A, do not react to anything that they cannot see. So this here, for instance, will not trigger a ruler. Secondly, a ruler will not react to any quick actions 
or immediate action. So quick draw and the like will not hurt it. Thirdly, the ruler will not uh, react to anything that is outside of their range with the exception of combat protocol. I don't know why they coded it that way, but it is just what it is. Meaning, um, oh yeah, and squad size, uh, squad side. Meaning if you heal from outside of uh, their vision range, which currently is going along here, game is not showing you that, but I'm telling you, um, they can only see crash at the moment. So if, if we do anything that deals no damage that's outside of it, such as smoke grenade dropping, um, I don't know, healing, aid protocol, you will see that that is not triggering. I'll show you, aid protocol, there you go, no reaction. However, if uh, the ruler would have been a bit closer, there would have been a reaction. Equally, overwatches uh, are not triggering reactions. Fun fact, uh, teamwork, however, on the other side, very much triggers a reaction, so you should be really, really, really careful with that. We're putting in two overwatches here uh, for good measure. And then I would suggest we are actually starting to hit that guy. Nice little crit. Come on a little bit closer, buddy. There we go, shredded them completely. Almost close to fleeing. Lightning hands uh, would give us that little bit of advantage that we need. Frost bomb is the direct counter to them. And now it's frozen for three rounds. Uh, lightning hands should not reduce that timer because it's de facto a ability that costs no action. And we are sniper rifling. Nice little crit, he's easier to hit and crit because uh, he's standing, uh, he's frozen. Hence cover still applies apparently, okay. If we move, I think number one, we're in third range, but number two, I think it also triggers them. This here will not take the tree away. At best, it will give it half cover. My greed has spiked, as in, maybe we can kill that sucker. Don't have eight protocols, so can't really go there and they carry the mimic beacon. But what we could do is we could actually do use demolition once again. I mentioned a bit earlier how that's an underrated skill. There you go. Took us a, uh, an action, but was well worth it. He's still fraud. Come on. Dodge that one. That was nasty. Potentially won't be able to get it. That's unfortunate. But the next time we're going to see it, it has only one third of its hit points left over. I am at 
And that was the first fun encounter with them. Sometimes you just don't need to be greedy. Sometimes it's just good old solid beat it down and fight to live another day type of interaction. Also, it will mean we're going to see that guy in one of the following episodes on an actual mission. But unlike uh, my new campaign, where they are fully regenerating in between uh, interactions, you don't need to be afraid. You will not come back uh, with full armor, full hit points. Good. We're overwatching because I do have an idea of an overwatch trap. We do have squad side overwatch, which means the moment that those two are moving, sniper will take a shot, they will get triggered. Well, that plan just went out of the window because we're shooting someone else. Also a nasty pack, but most certainly not as nasty as the others. Maybe we'll trigger these guys as well. Oh yeah. Not even close. All right, mutant loads his plasma gun. to uh, go for cover and then finds himself standing in the open yeah no shit that was a bad idea my friend 10 to 12 uh, we're looking at 2 4 6 8 9 11 that's not a hundred percent kill but uh, that is an 80 percent kill I think we're going for the normal shot Thanks to blue screen rounds, death from above, by the way, makes this year more easy. Good, reloading. Always reload when you intend to not move. We have heavy cover, so I actually think we are good where we are. Crash moves over. We're missing a couple of high hit, uh, high percentage shots here, which is unfortunate. Advanced stock sort of sorts out that problem because even if you miss, you hit just for lower damage, right? And then we got uh, these two clowns there. Now, our combat protocol should really hit the other guy as well. <sighs> Might as well just soften them up. They are far enough away to not be able to reach us and shoot at the same time. Double move. Well, of course, he can reanimate. That uh, is okay. That's fair. Viper into a swift and painful death and sector into unfortunately not a swift and not very painful uh, death at all.
Don't like standing in the open, but we have no cover here. And I do have a backup plan in case that doesn't work. But shotgun to the face apparently works even on a distance. And the reason why I didn't want to use combat protocol uh, initially is because I remember there is a tower up there. So really what we're talking about is two towers. Could haywire them, but we could also just do the classical attack them from range and they can't do anything about it. No. I think we've killed all of the packs, it's just a matter of the two towers. I'm pretty sure it is. tell you what we're going to play that the right way because I want to make sure that <clears throat> I'm not showcasing any wrongdoings the right way unfortunately is uh, the less interesting way it is ending turn after turn because there is no other alien than them and using our sniper reaper combination to kill the turrets. Target neutralized. Oh, there is actually another pack or yet another tower. I don't know. We're going to find out. Jester moves up, sure Crash moves up. We'll take a bit of a sprint right. here because already mentioned, no there's not a lot of great cover. We've removed everything in the middle. You know what's helpful now when you don't know where, the, uh, where they are or what's going on? Exactly, scanning protocol. Such a good ability. <coughs> and we're not picking up any hostiles in the near uh, proximity, which is good because that allows us to push in without feeling bad. Alright, end of turn. Still not hearing any movements, which sort of tells me we are nearly alone. There's an alien patrol nearby. Well, Saiken, if you call that a nearly alone, then I don't know. These guys seem to have just stood there in anticipation of ambushing us. But move. not today. Not on our watch. Here I come. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Scanning. Weepers are always vigilant. Requesting emergency evac. Good. Here's the deal. We don't need to kill everyone. <coughs> See you later, suckers. Not a problem. If we can get like a sucker punch shot in, great. I'm running low on ammo. On my way. 
But if not, then that's also fine. Good, I think we're okay. No need to use teamwork to just get another shot in. I don't think that we can actually reasonably kill some uh, someone else. We could have definitely killed that pack, but having a flawless mission also will help us to not get tired as much with the soldiers, and given that there is just another mission around the corner, well, that's potentially the right way to play it. So, that was a fun interaction with the alien ruler. Time for us uh, to to uh, fight against the, them on the next actual missions. There is a grace timer of two missions, which means he can't really pop up immediately afterwards, but he will over time come back. And definitely remote start is such a great ability. Blood trail isn't bad either. Advanced Autoloader. Now stands in ruin, Commander. Excellent work. Your efforts will no doubt slow the aliens' progress and, towards the hmm. Avatar project. Well, we might have slowed them down, but there is still a lot of action that is going to happen here. We got supply drops, but that really doesn't mean a lot. By the way, let me just see. There's another guerrilla ops mission. Um, it's interesting. There isn't a direct connection here or here. So these uh, these uh, different locations are really far, far, far off. Closest other facility is potentially New Indonesia uh, and uh, Australia here. Metal Fortitude is, by the way, fantastic, so we should expand in this direction nonetheless. But all of that is irrelevant because what counts is that we get another mission going. So what would uh, Tabcat appreciate to play with? I think he has grown accustomed to the double spark uh, by now, so that should be a good baseline. Also, to be honest, um, in those city missions, sparks are actually quite good because you can always take the high ground and the rockets will help you. So that's not a that's not a bad thing at all. Um, might put Templar in there <clears throat> for good measure. I like that idea. Uh, Jester is still up and running. I like that as well. Crash is uh, there and what else are we taking not the reaper because they are now tired i mean a bit of grapple wouldn't wouldn't be bad would it make utility items available yes please and give the guy a blue screen rounds that's a completely different team. Advanced auto loader, yes please. Color coding it correctly, yes. Uh, we are going to hand over the improvised uh, magnetic rifle, that is important. weapons available yes please iconic axe probably equip them for the mission I 
Yeah, and I think 215 supplies plus the intel would be good. The supplies go a long way because we can upgrade the sniper rifle finally and the intel will go a long way because we can expand. So that is going to happen in the next mission. I'm sure Tapcat will rock the boat with it. And yeah, we're, we're uh, knocking that one out and then uh, we potentially need to discuss when that campaign will be considered saved. Because currently we have a grace period of six weeks until the Avatar project starts again. It's not uh, that unlikely that you can make contact here and go for Mental Fortitude. And from there on it's really starting to become easy sailing. I would say with the upgrade of plated armor and the weapon upgrade, you're through the worst really. Um, you're through the worst really. Good. That concludes it for today. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed what you have seen, try to mind control that like button. Uh, if you do a good job, it will erect uh, and tell you that you are psychically active. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.